Okay, so now we are just outside of Altamont, so we are uh, on Route 40. Sections of uh, 128, the creek down there was out. Fayette Bottoms are closed. So if any of you live in the Effingham County area here in Illinois, avoid the flooded roads. Turn around. If you see water flowing and you know there's a bridge, don't try to go across it. That's just stupid. That would have been out through there too. Um, they also have wind advisories out too, don't they? Yep. Guess up to 30 miles an hour is not higher. In through tonight. Now, if you come out here, since we're out in the open, the fields aren't near as. They're not as bad. It didn't flood across this road this time. That one time it did. Right, and people was having to plow through it. It would have if it kept raining. That ditch over there is full. This little pond flooded Look at out. This. Look at that. That little pond went everywhere. It can hold it. <laughs> Look at that pool. Yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's crazy. So. I know the Kaskaskia River is going to be out too, ain't it? Probably. The ones down through. Vandalia Road through to Vandalia was open. They did say, however, that it was flooded and to be careful. You know, it's up. Yeah, like what we went through? It's up to the white, uh, the white mark on the side of the roads. Was it about so, like what we went through? Or? It's probably worse than that at one point, but it's... It's down to where it's just up to the edge of the white line on this edge of the road. So those of you who live in Vandalia, be careful. We are currently in Effingham County, just coming into Altamont. Population of 2,300. <laughs> or so the sign says. Or so, so the sign says. I don't think there really is. There's probably more than that. Sad as that is. It's a nice little yeah, Buick Century sitting there. Uh, no, it's a Buick Saber. I'm sorry, it's a Buick Saber. <laughs> There's a Buick Regal that just went past us. I'd like to have a 96 Regal. <clears throat> <laughs> you can tell the cricks are full. Just ditches and stuff. Oh, stop. See, here we are in Altamont, so we didn't really get a hole. Well, they got as much. They got as much as it just doesn't sit because drainage, ditch, uh, drainage uh, pipes are not overwhelmed. And ain't clogged like they are out in the country. No. Teachers Institute. Probably. They go back to fifth. high school in Altamont. We got another five minute video coming. I'm doing like two or three different sections. It's going to take me several days to get them uploaded, but when I start right at midnight, probably won't get done until about three. Yeah, we're in Altamont and yard, people's yards are flooded. I 
we're just right by the fairgrounds here and little ditches. That's even full. Now the car's running left, we hit that. Yeah, the wind. Someone's car quit. Or repossession, one of the two. Nope, it's been in the water. And I will be making... Oh, yeah. And I will be making a claw video as soon as we get to Walmart. If I see anything I can win. Um, otherwise, I'll play... Wherever. All right, we're right by Muncie's here. Nothing really. There's the house down there that burnt before Christmas. The house down there burnt just before Christmas, as just pointed out. Got some water, a little bit of water standing there. Oh, look at this! Yeah, here will be the place to, to coming up. Right up here. See that? Mommy, look at this. Right, but that's the pond right over there. Yeah, and it's full. Alright, old mater. Old tow truck. It's been sitting there for... It's clear up under the bridge over there. Yeah, that's... Down here is the entrance to... Right here is the entrance to Ballard Nature Center. The brick is full. I'll bet you it'd be really flooded back in there by... Oh, I'm sure it will be by that little pond back there. Yeah, it's but it is. It's full. Oh. Look at this. This is never that full. It's clear up under the thing. Yeah. This is crazy. All right. Up here, we're still continuing eastbound on Route 40. See, ditches are... And the water you seen us go through wasn't enough to kill a vehicle, so... And we got some more water coming up here. That would kill your car right there. Well, I'm, not gonna drive I'm just saying that, that would. I'm just saying that would if you had a hydroplane up there. <coughs> well. Up here, still continuing eastbound on Route 40. Ditches are full there. And what's causing the flooding is the leaves are clogging the drainage areas. drainage areas from the fall. I got that on video. Mr. Snot. Mr. Snot. Okay, Paul. This is... That one's flowing. Yeah, it is. Now, the thing you see is the river bottom. That's... Yeah. Once you go up to Route 40... Uh, not Route 40, but... Um, up to the S-curve. Up to the S-curve. You'll really see some more there. Chevrolet Trailblazer. Probably newer than this one, but this one here is probably the oldest trailblazer I've been in. Oldest to me. No, and that's ten trailblazer is oldest I've been in. That what? Grayish one back here? No, that was just trailblazer. Oh. The blue one. The yeah. blue one's an S10 blazer. <laughs> Which I do need to see if I'll start when we get home. I'm going to brighten the battery in tonight. It's supposed to get me on the 30s, 
Like, yeah. So probably start let the let the battery charge and bring it in. Dude, that's just And people are asking to stop putting people's lives at risk just so they can rescue you. Do not drown, turn around if you see a flooded road. And allow yourself plenty of time to get to wherever it is you need to go. Alright. See you at the next section.